Hey my beautiful kings and queens, in today's video I'm going to be sharing five tips on ways to grow healthy long locks. Now I've had my locks for over six years so literally the tips I'm going to be giving you are things that I have found or have worked well for me. I'm not an expert, I cannot talk on other people's hair apart from my own. So let's get started. Tip number one, it's very important for you to keep your locks moisturized. So that can involve using essential hair oils or it can be you using water, spritzing your hair with water, spritzing your hair with rose water. Um, I have heard of people using a maybe water and orange mix. Literally what I found really works for me at this precise moment is coconut oil. I like to use raw virgin coconut oil this does wonders for my hair. It literally, it keeps my scalp happy and moisturized. It's very oily and it's quite thick in consistency, which is what I need for my hair. And it also provides my hair with a beautiful, luscious shine. Now, over the past two weeks, I am trying to get into the habit of using rose water. So literally, as you can see, I've got a, lo a lot of rose water in this spray bottle. So every day or every two days, I just like to give it a quick little spritz after I've, you know, massaged coconut oil into my scalp and used just a little bit into my locks. And I have found at the moment, the two work well for me. Different things work for different people. It's all about you finding what works well for you. And you just making sure that you keep your crown looking healthy. And that's it. Number two. Aside from what you're putting on your locks on the outside, obviously, I'm a very firm believer that what you put inside your body is a very key component into, you know, how your skin looks, how your hair is, how your nails look. It's very important for you to have a balanced diet. And in your diet, you should include a lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables, and most importantly, water water is everything i am known to drink lots and lots and lots of water i've got like a massive bottle right next to me and please believe that by the end of today the rest of this will be gone um aside from stuff like fruit and vegetables i'm a herbal tea addict as well i love drinking sorrel tea sarasi and corilla tea cinnamon and mint tea basically herbal teas that are caffeine free is what i drink that's just a personal choice of mine but it's more important for you to be you know consuming your fruit your veg and your waters i wouldn't particularly say any fruits and veg in mine i do like to have a mixture of things like my avocados my cucumbers my greens like my spinach my kales my lettuce um and that sort of thing in terms of fruit i love dragon fruit watermelon apples grapes satsumas pineapples the list is kind of endless just make sure that whatever your diet is it's not too trashy. If you're somebody that bangs out a lot of takeaways on a continuous basis all the time and you rarely have fruits and rarely veg and you don't drink much water, chances are your hair may grow, but it's gonna grow at a very slow pace or it just may seem like it's not growing at all. However, with that being said, different strokes for different folks. There are some people that are gonna watch this video and they're gonna say, oh, well, I eat kind of crap, but my skin is fantastic and I've got long hair and that's fair enough. Um, sometimes it's to do with genes, sometimes it's not. I've always kind of relatively been somebody that has had long hair, even way before I had my looks anyway. But I do find that stuff like eating good and drinking water and even exercising, for example, actually opens up your pores and allows your hair to grow. It promotes hair growth as well. I do find that when doing those things, my hair does grow um, quicker my skin glows, my nail grows quicker, and I just look and I feel amazing and it shows up on my hair. So I don't see why, why you wouldn't want to feed your temple, your royal temple with all this goodness so that your exterior can look amazing as how your interior probably looks and also feels, you know? I feel like I've gone on and on about this a lot in my previous lock videos, but 
a way for your hair to grow longer and in a healthy manner is by you not retwisting and interlocking your hair. Those of you that like to retwist your hair every two, three weeks, I don't understand what you're doing. Honestly, it's so unnecessary. If anything, the less you interlock, the less you retwist, the more, you know, you give your, your hair the space and the chance for it to grow in a healthy manner. You will have thicker roots, your locks will not thin out and in the long run your hair will thank you for it because essentially what you're doing by continuously interlocking or retwisting your hair every two, three weeks is you're actually putting a lot of strain and friction on your hair unnecessarily irregardless of if you are using hair oils or you are moisturising it before doing so, you need to allow your hair to breathe. And that's very, very important, especially when you have locks. Your hair needs to breathe. It's okay to just leave your hair to do its thing. It's okay for you to allow your, your roots to grow out. Honestly, nowadays I can go two, three months without interlocking or retwisting my hair and it's perfectly fine. And I've actually seen the benefits of um, interlocking and retwisting less frequently. I do find that um, my locks have now kind of grown out in terms of size they, they actually did used to be a lot thinner and also my roots as well have become quite thick and my hair now has quite a bit of volume that I'm really liking personally so I really do think that it's unnecessary to interlock and retwist your hair every two three weeks let your hair breathe if you like it's fine for you to retwist or interlock I would say between every six to eight weeks it's perfectly fine if you can go longer it's even better there are many people that go three to six months without doing so and you can tell because their hair is a, in a thicker healthier and just in a much more better state than somebody that does it a bit too often let your hair breathe tip number four for growing beautiful long healthy locks keep your hair wrapped up at night with a satin or a silk bonnet or a headscarf whatever you choose to use is up to you i personally use this i believe i bought this from a pax hair store i got it quite a while ago can't remember i think it was between three to four pound at the hair shop and basically what i do is i put my hair into a high bun at night and then I put this on. I also put this on before entering a shower as well. That's just my thing. Um, and literally what it does is it just, it keeps my hair, for example, I've freshly retwisted it. It keeps my hair in place. It keeps my essential oils in my hair. So my hair is nice and moisturized and it's not drying out when I'm tossing and turning on my bed. If you don't use a silk or satin hair bonnet or scarf, that's perfectly fine but it is advisable for you to at least have silk pillow cushions or silk cover so that the moisture in your hair when you're sleeping does not go away. And not only that, but you will also avoid getting unnecessary stuff into your hair. Like if you're using, for example, a cotton pillow case, maybe lint and stuff may go into your hair as you're tossing and turning. And basically covering your hair up at night with a silk or a satin headscarf will avoid you from getting more lint and unnecessary stuff that you don't want like dust and fluff into your locks because that's a very irritating process ha having to get all of that out of your hair. My final point, last but not least, hot oil treatments. Now, although I do not do it as often as I maybe should nowadays, Hot oil treatments are everything. I do find that it makes my hair shinier. It does promote hair growth. It also does have my, my, my hair feeling soft. But keep in mind that my hair is matured, so it feeling soft is not necessarily a bad thing. Literally, my hot oil treatment, what I use is this coconut oil. My baby. Literally, after I wash my hair, um, you know, I will make sure my hair is dried a little bit not too much and then I put coconut oil on my scalp and a little on my locks tie up into a high bun put a carrier bag over it watch my um hot oil treatment video I have actually put a video up on this I still use the same method up until now and that's not going to change so I put my carrier bag on then I put a towel over it and I leave that in my hair anything between 20 to 40 minutes remove my towel remove the carrier bag and that's that I don't wash it out i leave it in my hair and it has my hair feeling amazing i retwisted my hair recently 
and I did a hot oil treatment before retwisting it and it just made things very easier. It had my hair feeling soft, um, had it feeling shiny and I just love it. I would advise for you to at least, if you can't do it every time that you wash your hair, depends on how often you wash your hair. I like to wash my hair every two to two and a half weeks. So sometimes I do a hot oil treatment twice a month, but the minimum that I now do it is at least once a month now. Before, I didn't really think it was essential and I've only kind of got into the habit of doing a hot oil treatment literally this year, to be honest with you. So yeah, that's my five tips on how to grow healthy locks. I think your hair being healthy is the most important thing rather than you straining it and having it appear to be healthy when it's not. That's why nowadays I prefer to retwist my hair less because I couldn't care less about it looking, you know, aesthetically neat to the pleasing eye. I care about it feeling healthy to me, basically. So those are my tips. I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to drop suggestions on other topics that I can cover, whether it's in regards to locks or life. I'm very open to suggestions and I enjoy doing these videos. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your feelings. Let me know what works well for you, what doesn't work for you. Oh, thank you very much for watching my videos. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And until my next video, be good.